Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to uh, level up Wuzatan from six stars to seven stars and just see uh, how well she does. So let's jump into my tickets. Let's go ahead and redeem Wu. And then let's jump in. Quick advance first, of course. And let's get her up to seven stars. Now, at seven stars, she unlocks her second passive. Um, so when allies, well, oop, 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 oop. all right, okay, chill out. Um, so when allies successfully cast the Phantom Illusion effect, Wu uh, Zatan will consume all buffs on the affected enemies. For uh, one buff consumed, her attack increases thirty percent up to a thousand percent, which is why. I think um, this is so low, this 180% is so low, um, and why I think this is only at 72%, because if you times that by 1000, uh, after removing all of those buffs, uh, <laughs> that's going to be very powerful, and I think she had the uh, capacity to um, be much more powerful than that, so let's jump in. Uh, and let's jump into the same stage we had her on previously. Uh, so that was the last team that I was trying on this stage. Uh, let's go to Glorians and let's try the same teams again as we tried in the six star review. So um, we will go for the Monarch build first. One, two, three, four, five. And let's go... There we go. So this is the team build that I had previously. Uh, and let's just see how much more damage uh, that Wu will put out now that she is up to seven stars. I still think I've, I've, I've just made, well, I've just sent um, the CS, well, the customer service, uh, an email to pass on to the devs uh, with regards to a visual indicator. Um, for her damage reduction because it's a 75% chance and it's not guaranteed we don't know if she has applied 75% damage reduction to the team um, or if she has um, if she has not and I've just asked that they add in a visual cue uh, for this effect um, something like a, an aura or a something below um, to allow for so 413 million, it's not bad. She's outputting more damage with uh, than Lee uh, and around the same damage as Talonas at the moment. So I think she's doing all right. I think she's going to put the, the damage out. But as you can see, we need to apply the Phantom Illusion effect more than once. And because she does it on her ultimate, she doesn't do it on any other. We can only do that once every three rounds. So something to keep in mind. Uh, this team seems very effective. Um, very very effective and she's uh, Audrey's done basically the most uh, and then Wu um, is doing just a bit less she actually output more damage than Talonas now my Talonas does have all dodge runes um, so keep that in mind but uh, Wu's a time putting out more uh, out more damage than Lee my Lee has exclusive runes and is at 10 stars as well so he is he's he's very powerful at this state or in the state that he's in at the moment it's, re it's respectable um, and Wu is putting out more damage than him so let's jump into the second team that we tried um, this was another um, Glorian's team what we can do um, if I had Cleo up to eight stars soon I promise <laughs> I promise very soon um, then we could have uh, uh, Cleo in instead so in this particular setup something like this uh, might be for the best uh, but let's try Ariana in this spot here um, in fact no we tried Atrops last time so we'll try this team again uh, let's put Gloria in this front slot as well um, and let's go ahead uh, I don't think again we don't need to change the relics up so let's just see how much damage she's outputting in this one now, do I think that you should be summoning for Wu? I don't think she is uh, a similar case as to Dahlia. Uh, Dahlia was so required 
um, that I had to I had to suggest people summon on her. Um, but with Wu, I think you can skip her in order to go for Cleo because we know that Cleo is coming soon um, to the Oath Recall. If you are going to summon on the Oath Recall for anyone and you don't intend to summon, or if you only intend to summon once this season, then I would suggest uh, going for Cleo over everybody else, over Hades, over Wu, over... Yeah, a thousand. That's all right. That's good. That's very good damage. Um, and that's with the uh, the debuffs being removed as well. I wonder how she'll work with Aphrodite. Um, but yeah, just to, just to clear things up, yeah, I do think that you should be summoning for Cleo. If you're only going to summon once on Oath, I think you should summon for Cleo. Uh, I do really think that she needs to be up to... Um, eight or nine stars uh preferably nine because you do get the the secondary um active increasing up to 50 percent as well um i really do think that people need to go for her over any of the other units at the moment and the same is true uh over the course of the next couple of seasons as well until you get her up to that eight stars um so yeah, i think this is a good team let's take these two out let's go ahead put astrid in and we will put in uh, Ophelia as well. Where have we gone? There you are. And um, we'll just see how much damage uh, that we can we can put out on this. So bear with me. Let's go ahead and jump in, and let's see how much damage she's outputting now. Um, now remember this. Uh, so we will get much better in PvP. Uh, so what I mean by that is PvP. Um, Wu is going to start to steal more and more buffs every time she does cast her ultimate, which will increase her attack even more. Um, I think she's going to be absolutely fantastic in the new seasonal synergy, the Enigmas, because you apply that, um, uh, you apply the Phantom Illusion effect quite often in that, so she'll have a chance to build up much faster as well. Fortunately, um, I think the damage reduction has kicked in because we're not taking altogether too much damage from them. Uh, shields aren't going down at all. But we do get the double attack increase, so let's see how much damage she's actually putting out here. Yep, yeah, that's not bad at all. And she steals one. So she's outputting more damage uh, than Astrid, looks like. And Ophelia as well, in that same spot. So yeah, very powerful effects. Um, and I think, yeah, uh, she is she's a very good unit very very good if you are if you do want um an additional ethereal uh, sorry an additional glorian um then she is uh, good to go in the um she's good to go in the monarch build she's going to be the one doing the damage in the monarch build i know lee does build up um and audrey builds up as well but i do think Wu will be putting out a lot of damage on that team as well as giving that 75 percent damage reduction so just something to keep in mind now let's go ahead and jump into some pvp um we'll go into israzil and let's go ahead and challenge he's got the highest storm you've got the highest power level um and yeah i think we can have a look see here whether or not we can add in uh, Wu, whether or not she fits in this lineup. So we'll take these out. We'll go for our monarch build. Sorry about that, just had some uh, work stuff get in the way. Now, where was I? Ah, yes, well, uh, this, yeah, uh, this is a good team, I think. Uh, and we'll try a couple of other setups and just see how well it works. This is the other team that I've been working on uh, with Hades. Uh, I do very much enjoy it, but I think I'm going to take out Macaria. And I'm going to put in, where have you gone? Uh, Mulan as well. Uh, just on this one, so let's jump in. Uh, and let's see how well the team does. So Storm, um, very powerful uh, team builds, very powerful setups, good setups as well. Um, Avengers, um, you know, one of the one of the top teams in the game. 
because it looks like we're doing a lot a lot more damage than we would normally do um yeah we're doing a lot more damage and take a lot less damage as well so it must have kicked in um it's just a shame that it's it's an unknown um it's, it's an unknown quantity so it effectively you can't see whether or not that buff has kicked in um but yeah we'll, we'll just have to see now that's a good point does lachesis oh we got janna nice does uh lachesis remove that buff that's a question for the ages okay so we didn't really get to see how much damage she's actually doing but looks like so janna's down and then she comes back we do get the uh, we do get the kills on them. Uh, they'll all all come back, of course, as as per usual. But that is um, Jana down twice now as well. I'll just see whether or not it kicks in this second time. Yeah, so shielding protecting us there, and a miss, unfortunate. Double Holy Shield. Audrey's going to love that. There we go. So we do take a lot of damage from Audrey. We'll just see how Wu copes without Audrey on the team. So we should steal an enemy here as well. Yeah, so we stole Sal. There's Sal down as well. Mm, definitely not as powerful. This team is definitely not as powerful without Halicer Um But it is what it is. So double holy shield stack. We're just going to make our way through it now, unfortunately. There we go. Get our shield in. Reasonable damage. How much is she doing compared to Lee? Ah, oh, come on, Lee. Yes, I think they'll be doing about the same. Unfortunately, the misses keep interfering. But it is what it is. And there we go. The throne will be mine. Hmm. Alright, and then this team. Yeah, let me just let me just show this team off. Just while we're here. I I have been enjoying this team very much. Uh the fact that you'll see. So now Leandra will apply burn. <laughs> it's just, yeah, just mental. Hayes applies burn as well. So if he survives, we should be good to go. Let's apply all that burn. I absolutely love it. I really do. Holy shield stacks. Alma, of course. Because why why would Alma need holy shields? Yeah, it's the the higher rate of execution that really does it for Hades. So yeah. Just getting them below 35% is not too difficult. And then the burn effect will kick in here as well. Yeah, there we go. Just silly. Love that team. <laughs> Hades to do the most. Over over Wu. And Hades is only six. I guess he does get the assail as well. So something to keep in mind. But 
Yeah, yeah, I love that team. Um, very good. I think that, yeah. Uh, I don't want to call it yet, but I think that um, the damage reduction um, from Wu will seal it for me. I do think that she's slightly better than Hades, but Hades, he just brings so much to that Valiantus team. Um, and also, in combination with the burn mechanic from Mulan, um, I think it is a very powerful effect indeed. So let's jump into Chaotic Space um, and let's jump into this team here. Um, so what we're going to do, take these out. We're going to jump into you. Uh, pop you in. We pop you in. Could do with another Glorian Monarch, to be honest. We don't have any. So we put you in. And then we can put in... I guess Corolla. I don't expect this team to win, by the way. Just just a heads up. I, I do not expect this team to win. Um, just because it's so tough. Uh, so we'll quick deploy. We can take you out. Take you out. Take you out. Pop you in. Pop you in. Um, and take you out. Pop you in. Take you out. And now I've got three left over. So let's go ahead and get our crit rate up. Is it up here? Yeah, there is. Uh, crit rate up, and we'll go for increased damage boost as well. Just see what type of damage we're using. Oh, crap. Pardon my French. You, you, you. Let's jump in. Because we do have the three Glorians. Oh, sorry, four Glorians, technically. Um... And the four Celestials. Let's have a look at how well she performs in PvE uh, in this new mode here. Or at least in, in the seasonal content, should I say. Okay, so we're doing about 15k per attack. Now, are we going to go down very quickly? Maybe. That's decent. So they're doing about the same damage. And let's compare that to Talonas here. So doing less than Talonas. Now Corolla down, of course. So doing more than Afro and Talonas as well because the increased damage and I think over time she's got to build up a lot. Respectable. Witness ultimate beauty. Witness ultimate beauty. Tremble before the star. Tremble before the star. Yeah, she doesn't seem to be taking a lot of damage at all in this this particular uh, lineup. Yeah, so even hitting less targets than Aphrodite, um, she's still doing less. Unfortunately, there's no healer on this team, is what it is. And unfortunately, Talonas down there. Mm. 
and see how long this team goes on for. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Right. So I don't think we had damage reduction active in that, because in the last one when we tried it, we got to 11 rounds. In this one, we only got to 7 rounds. So I think there's going to be a massive difference in how much damage we take overall. So yeah, that was 13 rounds. So it's clearly she had the damage reduction activated in that, um, in that last one. Uh, we saw that the 13 rounds, but in the one we saw where we only lasted 7, she clearly had um no damage reduction active i think that's going to be a problem i think I, I think just knowing whether or not you've got the increased damage and damage reduction active um i think that's going to be i think that's going to be crucial if i'm honest oh i know we didn't do this okay let's get you up not showing off at a full potential There we go. Right, okay, so I think that is where I'm going to leave it for this review. Do I think that you should... Um, do I think you should summon for Wu? If you're going to, if you're going to summon um, for anybody this season, if, you, if you've only got one, one, un, uh, one um, unit you can summon for, summon for Cleo. Cleo will be out in around a month. Uh, so if we jump into the event schedule here, is this the right one? Yeah, if we jump into the event schedule, Cleo is coming from the 4th of October. So in around a month's time. Yeah, exactly a month's time. Um, I think you should save for her if you can only summon on one. Do I think that Wu needs any more than seven stars to be effective? No. Um, I think she's very good as is. Uh, so yeah, um, you know, let me know down below in the comments uh, what you think. Of her if you can like and subscribe to the video be really appreciated thanks very much for watching and you have a great day